Okay, this is a video for day three of English 30-2, week five or lesson five. So you watched the movie Life is Beautiful and answered some questions about it. Um, now what you're going to do is write an essay. Now in English 30-2 on your diploma exam, you have a written part and a multiple choice part. So the written part's worth half of your diploma mark. <clears throat> and this year the diplomas are worth 30%. So they're a significant amount of marks that they are worth. The essay portion, portion is divided into three parts. There is firstly a visual reflection, which we've kind of done a little bit of work on in um, the short story unit, but not as much as we will do. Then there's a literary exploration, and that's what we're gonna look at today. And then there is a persuasive essay. So let's talk mostly about the literary exploration. You can read the other explanations, but they're not really important at this point for this assignment. So in the literary exploration, you are going to choose a text that you have studied. So a text means a short story, a novel, um, think they sh they sway you away from a poem but certainly a film is worthy of your consideration as well so and then they're going to give you a question so everyone writes on the same question even though you're writing on different texts so my advice is always to have a couple of texts that you feel like you know quite well and so maybe it's going to be life is beautiful that you're going to focus on um, learning well for your diploma exam and then you answer the question so here's a question this isn't the one you're using today but what is your opinion of the idea that people examine their relationships with others when they face challenging circumstances or what is your opinion of the idea that a moment of crisis can have significant consequences so you have to discuss a character from something you've studied in English 30-2 now, so in, in um, this film, I mean, you, could, you need to choose a, a principal character. So it's probably best to choose Guido, but I guess you could choose the narrator as well, Joseph, because he figures prominently in the beginning and the ending of the film. For sure, you could do that too. All right, um, for all three parts, you'll be graded on your writing skills which includes grammar, punctuation, sentence structure and organization, and your thought and support. So when you do a literary exploration essay, you need to answer the questions specifically and completely. You need to develop a position on the question. Write a clear thesis statement, consider your audience. There's probably not people who are believers. So you might find that um, if you talk about God a lot, um, you may have a marker that doesn't look kindly on that. Usually markers are told that they need to hand it off to somebody else if that's the case, but that might be a problem. I would say discuss you're okay to discuss principles from scripture, but um, not maybe generalities there is what I would say. All right, you need an outline and even on the exam, you should have an outline. So your support, you need to have, I would say a five paragraph essay. So let's do an introduction and then three points and then a conclusion. And so your three points will be how you are answering that question, how you are giving support to that question, to your answer to that question. And you should bring in quotes from the film or from literature to the best of your recollection. Now, you know, this situation here, because it's not an exam, you certainly can bring those in. And I expect you to do that on an exam you may not know them word for word. So be careful or be aware of that. So, uh, and this is, I've already kind of said that, avoid the appearance of blind faith. Your reason can't be because your mom or God 
or told you or God says so. So here's your question for your essay this week. What is your opinion of the importance of one's ability to understand the dangers that he or she faces? All right, you can answer this question in a number of ways. Do you think we ever understand the dangers we face? Is it important for people to understand the dangers they face? Is it better not to understand the dangers? Think about the characters in the film. Did they fully understand the dangers? Would it have been better for them if they did understand or if they didn't? So explain fully what you mean, what you say. So follow the initial planning steps on the assignment document and work on your essay the next couple of days. Now, you are going to need to hand in a formative copy of your essay. So what this means is I look it over, make sure you're on the right track, maybe give you some suggestions to and feedback to help you improve your essay, and then you hand it in for summative assessment. So essentially what this does is it gives you the opportunity to attain a higher grade on this assignment. Now, I know I have had lots of English students in the past who've had that opportunity. They hand in the same essay and I've gone to the work to go through it, to provide comments, and it can be a little frustrating. So please, please take this opportunity to improve your work and get a better grade. All right, have fun writing.